Hey y'all, welcome back. All right, back in the winter, I don't remember when, I think it was January, January or February, I started some sweet potatoes making slips. So this is where we are. They've developed. I've got some with really nice roots. And now it's time to get them in the ground. All right, so back in February, I put some regular old sweet potatoes into this pan of dirt, and I just kind of let it sit. I kept the soil moist, and they finally made slips. It took a while, but they finally made slips. So I had set them outside to harden off, and then it started raining. And I, what I realized was that they actually, this, they grew more slips after there was water in this pan. So I've popped off the slips, the ones that don't have any roots, I just put them in this jar of water and I'll just let them sit. And they grow roots really, really quickly after you put them in this water like this. So once they have some roots, then we take them out and we're ready to plant them. Planting these is gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna dig a little hole, make sure we've got enough room for the roots. When we put the roots in there, we're gonna kind of spread them out if there's a lot of them. And uh, then we'll just cover them back up. Sweet potatoes actually like a lot of sun. And it looks like this space right here is not gonna be sunny. But as the season changes and gets more into summer and the sun is more overhead, then these things are gonna get several hours of sunlight, direct sunlight every day. Sweet potatoes are a tropical plant and they like heat and humidity which makes them a perfect crop for here in Arkansas. Now, we've never planted anything in this bed. I think we put a little bit of manure in it, but there's nothing special about it. They do like to be well-drained, which I'm not sure this soil is, so it's gonna be an experiment growing them here this year. But uh, let's get started. I'm putting these holes about a foot apart I can see. down the row and then almost two feet apart across. So they don't need something to climb on. The ones that we planted last year oh. didn't have anything. Yeah. The thing is, if you don't give them something to climb on, they will grow. They'll just spread out oh. and take over everything. You there, did? Yeah, there, there, was, there wasn't a, a, there wasn't a snake. It wasn't a snake? No. Was it a beetle? No. Good job. As it gets longer, it'll, it'll find the trellis, Emma. Yeah. I'd start. Nice. It's going to climb the trellis. I'm just going to help it climb up the trellis here. No, nope, not like that. Here, you're on the right track. Some of these long ones need something to support it. All right, there we go. So what we're actually doing, because they're not climbing plants per se, they're we're training them. I'm gonna have the girls plant some seeds. We're gonna plant a long pie pumpkin. First time we've grown this. And some North Georgia candy roaster squash. First time we've grown these too. But they both sound pretty interesting and they're gonna take over the other side of this trellis. You ready girls? Yeah. Yeah. First, that first panel. What those seeds? Yep, these are the North Georgia candy roaster squash. And you're gonna plant those on the second panel. I so, am Georgia. You are Georgia, aren't you? Yeah. So Emma, make sure that you are spreading them out. So plant one right here. And then one Baba, right Baba, here. Baba, I could use one more seed. And then one right here. And then you can plant one right here, okay? So look for the holes. I can use one for seed. Go. Uh, I'm done. 
dead. I'm not quite ready to do a full garden tour yet, but we've got a couple of cool things. Got some beans coming up. A couple on this side. Let's see if our cucumbers are making any progress. That's really promising because I was afraid that with the rain, they were gonna be all washed away. Look. We've got one, one tiny little cucumber trying to pop its head up. Right there. That doesn't seem like much, but it means more is most likely on the way. So I will take it. I'm excited. I was really, really concerned that all of our seeds that we planted the other day had washed away because it rained really, really hard for a while after we planted them. <clears throat> it looks like the ground cherries are settling in. And then our original tomatoes that we planted. Those are looking good. We managed to get some peppers in the ground. And those are all looking happy. This is the rose that we transplanted a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago. It's doing its thing. I don't see any nasturtiums making it. Oh wait, yes I do. I have no idea if we'll be able to see this on camera. It is right here. Nope. It's right here. Tiny, tiny little nasturtium. Okay, so that's promising. And then... We haven't put anything in here yet, but we will. We'll get there. And then there's these little guys. The gazania. I started those from seeds. And they're looking good. And we planted some dahlias and some zinnias. I'm wondering if some of those little green things that are coming up are those. This was the original grape that we planted this year, and it looks really good. It looks happy and healthy, and if I could train it to grow on this trellis, it'd be great. So the other three died, but we had a couple more just kind of around the property, and we broke the rules. You're not supposed to transplant them if they're not dormant, but we did. And so far, they're all looking really good. We had two more grapes that we transplanted, and then just for fun, we grabbed a wild muscadine and popped it over here. And it's looking pretty good. There's the other grape. That one looks kind of like something's been chewing on it, but I think it'll, I think it'll recover. Definitely on my list of to-dos this week is get in here and get some of these weeds out of this garden bed. It looks like the honeysuckle is taking over. Alright. As always, if you like this kind of thing, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.